Hello, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a couple more advanced techniques here with Tinkercad. I've created a cylinder, cut a hole in the inside so you can see through it, and then um, cut some vertical windows along the outside, but then also added the illusion of glass in here with that cylinder. So I'm going to show you how to do this now. So step one, what you're going to do is you're going to grab whatever shape you want to make your thing in. So here's my cylinder. Then you're going to be duplicating this exact same cylinder to hollow it out with. This cylinder, however, you're going to make obviously a hole, but also slightly smaller in size. I'm going to click hole here, and then I'm going to move this to the inside. Now, what I usually try to do is make sure this is above. So to make sure that it's above, I'm going to grab this cone piece here and then slide it into place. Instead of eyeballing that, making sure it's exactly in place, what I like to do is select everything and then align it. To align things, what you're gonna do is click, let me show you a better angle. To align things, what I do is click here and here. And what that did is it snapped that exactly in place instead of eyeballing it. Then you're ready to group. Again, notice that it's in the center and that hole is slightly above. I'm selecting all these things and I'm clicking group. And when I've grouped it, you can see that I've hollowed it out. There's nothing on the inside. The next thing I did was make some windows. I showed you how to make windows before. Um, here's another option, another way. What I did was um, make a really long and skinny set of holes that um, were shaped like rectangles and then copy them and slide them over. And then what I did was I rotated it and then I aligned it. This allows to make sure it's exactly in the center. And then I took this exact same thing and I copied and pasted it and then rotated it again. And then I aligned it. And then I took this exact same thing again, copied it, rotated it, and then aligned it. And then in a really short amount of time, I have a pretty complex set of windows here. Um, I've grouped all of these together, but what I did was instead of, I mean, what you could do is you could go like this and keep stacking them and make those your windows. But what I did instead of that is did something different. Um, I took this and I pulled it up and I thought that would be kind of a cool effect to do something a little bit, um, not so traditional and have it, the windows be vertical. And again, instead of eyeballing this, I'm gonna align it, and that's gonna allow it to just snap in place. So it's exactly in the center. And then I adjusted the windows in height. I um, selected them and I moved them down because I wanted them to have a little bit of a margin on the bottom and the top. And then I just grouped them together. So go like this, click and group. Now it cuts holes in all those spaces in a relatively quick and short amount of time. Now I'm going to, now this doesn't look bad, but if you look at it, it just, you're just looking through it. It looks very um, hollow and empty and I want to create the illusion of glass. So to do this, what I'm going to do is actually um, ungroup what I just did, select my shape here, just the orange and copy it. So I'm going to use this for glass. I'm going to regroup this, have this selected, group that. I'm going to take this and turn it into a hole. And I'm going to use this to create the illusion of glass. But I'm going to make it slightly smaller, kind of like I did before, and drop it in here. Oh, sorry, I, I misspoke. This is not a hole. This is, I'm trying to make glass. Sorry. So transparent. And I like to use blue. Um, you can get it like a black or gray tint. It's kind of up to you what you want to do. Um, and then placing it in here. And again, instead of eyeballing it, I'm going to select it. Oh, look at that. I accidentally put it exactly in place. That's pretty impressive. Um, and then uh, I've got it in there. Now, one thing that I did, so you're not just looking through the, the top if you don't want a top. What I did was um, I flipped and rotated. Oop. I flipped and rotated my glass here. So then when I align it, the top doesn't look open it looks like I'm looking into glass. And I thought that looked a little bit better. 
So with just a couple quick steps, you can make a pretty high quality building by creating a cylinder or whatever your shape is, hollowing it out with a hole, adding some windows as holes, and then again, adding a little bit of glass on the outside really finishes off that building. I hope that was helpful. Try it out, have fun, and do your best quality work.